family. It doesn't have to be a family, it can be anything. Assembly of four people in their workplace, a boss, an employee, a deputy manager, or whatever. We have different ranks. Father, mother, usually is a father, then the mother, then sometimes it's opposite, father above the mother, mother above the father, children usually are down. Some children are tyrannizing the parents so they become higher than them. This also I try to challenge them, people to do. If somebody is usually support, if somebody is, is, is behaving very, very low, usually in his family, as a child he behaved very obedient, it's a challenging for him in the exercise to be go up. To try to control the parents, to tyrannize the parents, to tyrannize the parents. It's very therapeutic. Mm, yes. Very therapeutic. So everybody knows his role. Um, now let's continue with the same spirit of I want now to add a little bit aggression, a little bit violence. So non-aggressive, destruct, non-destructive aggressiveness. Let's call it like that. In a, in a, in all these uh, provocative therapies, they talk about non-destructive <coughs> aggressiveness. It doesn't say that they don't say that. Any aggression is bad, no. There is aggression where it's better to release than to store up. Uh, people can uh, play with it. Uh, the, the, the protagonist is uh, suggested by the facilitator to show his aggressiveness towards someone that in real life he is afraid of in order to recuperate, in order to go back to status. They are encouraged to tyrannize the establishment authorities. For example, in therapy. Now we are going to do something maybe less therapeutic, in a way, because it will not touch your own stories in life. But it's a very interesting uh, improvisational game, which is done not in gibberish. So I, I bring just my computer, so there are some words in it to tell. <coughs> We need, uh, I will explain and then I will ask to people to come here with chairs. We need, it's always about 10 people. Uh, Veronique, you will take this, uh, this uh, uh, game so we can post it. It's very important. And nobody's yet in the world posted this game. It's a game from a, a classical theater improvisation, a very old game. We will do it in gibberish. So we have... Um, we have, I think it's invest. We have one a, a investigator <coughs> or interrogator. Interrogator, interrogator. I think interrogator. <coughs> there is a guy in the in the police station. Okay. Inquisi inquisitor or interrogator. We have the inquisitor or interrogator. The, the name of the uh, game is, you, maybe you know Igor and Boris? I've heard of it. You heard of it? Yeah. The, na the name of the game is Igor. Igor. Igor is an invisible, invisible, or a uh, <coughs> invisible. Uh, Character, invisible, it is an invisible model or invisible figure in the game. Ego will not be, uh, will not be present as a person. It is a figure. It is a character who is there but is invisible. We never see him. He may come from time to time. He's a Russian guy. He's a thug. You know what is a thug? Thug. T h u g. Like a. Uh, he like <coughs> <coughs> okay. is a guy with a big muscles. A hooligan. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. why do you say that? Because uh, uh, usually if you go to Russia and you see someone who, who is, his name is Igor, he will be big and fat yes. and he's kid. You know, he, he works in the uh, mobility of the houses, how it's called. When, when you, 
When you change house? You change house and you bring a, a, a truck. Yes. Yes. Move, 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 move. But how those people are called? They mean movers. 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 Usually in Israel, they will, if, if you see a mover in Israel, you, probably his name is Ego. Mm -hmm. Alexei, Ego, something like that. Mm -hmm. Ego is someone very, very strong. He has a lot of muscles and he's big. He has a lot of physical power. So, but... There are people more, there is someone who is even more strong than Ego, is Boris. Oh. Boris is even much bigger. So it's like, a, it's like this, this, here a little bit there is some stigma of the Russian people, they are very, very violent because they drink vodka. So you, excuse me about that. So we have the Inquisitor or Interrogator. And there is someone who is the, can be the, uh, we call it in Hebrew, in English, this, I think it's the suspect. Yeah. Where from you? You want me to record? When? When? I, You'll tell me. You record when? When? Okay. People will be. Okay. You'll tell me. And then I will write some text. Oh, okay. There is someone who is a suspect. He did something bad. The interrogator wants to make him admit the crime. Mm -hmm. He tries to fail him that he will say something that will incriminate him. To trick him. He tries to trick him. To trick him. He tries to trick him or to incriminate him. Yeah. This is the role, this is the position of the inquisitor or the interrogator. Now, and, and of course the, the suspect, uh, he wants to lie or uh, maybe he's not the right person, maybe, yeah, maybe he, he's innocent. It was we don't question. know. Is, it might, is, uh, is it possible that the suspect, suspect is innocent? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it's only a suspect? It's possible or it's not possible, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. For the Inquisitor it doesn't matter. For the Inquisitor is always uh, uh, the guy who made the crime. We don't know what crime, it doesn't matter. Oh, he's guilty anyway. He's in the police station or in the... How it's called? A, there is a jail and then there is a, a piccolo jail. It's a, Preventive. Preventive in French. Yeah. It's not incriminated, but he's suspected. Very so. No, he, there is there is a house, which is less than the prison guard, yeah, guard, yeah. guard house. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Guard house. Uh, Preventive in French. Mm -hmm. So he's there. Both of them are sitting on chair. Now the the of course the interrogator <coughs> must show a lot of aggressiveness and trick them and ask many questions. Of course, all in gibberish. And the guy tries, you know, he plays very low status. The, the suspect will play, no, he's, he's not guilty. He tries, you know, not to make him even more angry. Mm -hmm. But, you know, sometimes the, the, the interrogator, see, he, 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 the interrogator doesn't, uh, doesn't have enough power to incriminate the, the suspect. And he's not, he, see, he sees that uh, he, he's a, he's a, you mean, Threatening his, his uh, threat is not enough dreadful to the uh, suspect. His questions are not enough dreadful. It's not, it doesn't uh, help him to, it doesn't make him to, to admit, I made this, uh, I made this uh, uh, crime. Mm -hmm. So in this case, he needs to ask. Uh, ego, first ego comes. When ego comes, there are two options. Whether now, now, now we do gibberish, but the the um, the um, no, the interrogator can say ego, <coughs> and it's enough that he says ego, and ego knows what to do. Ego knows what to do. He doesn't need to give commands to ego, but he has the choice also to give commands to ego. The commands will be all in Jewish. When he says ego, and then he says to ego what to do, then we can see the suspect do, uh, 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 like he is getting uh, uh, punched. punched. Uh, 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 uh. Sometimes it's enough, sometimes it's not enough. He gets punched and the interrogator continues to, in, to, to question. But sometimes if ego is too weak, because Boris! And when Boris comes, the punch will be much 
harder and more aggressive. Okay. So there's four characters. Yeah. You usually. But we, we do, they, 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 both Igor and Boris are invisible. But what we oh. do here, it's the improvisation of the, of the suspect try to play that he's beaten by some force, by someone. This is, this is the, here the improvisation. Okay? okay. I've missed that. How many people are going to be on stage? Two. Two. The suspect and the Eagle. interrogator. Sure. Well, That's Igor, it. Igor and Boris are. The other the ones Eagle are Eagle. invisible. And the, the Igor and Boris are invisible. Yeah. Then there is another opportunity that the interrogator also can beat Igor. Of course. He's not going to be that job. Interrog if Igor doesn't help, he can beat him. Only in the, and he asks Boris, but maybe also Boris doesn't have, you never know. But Boris always is, is more, more difficult, he's bigger and uh, he's uh, stronger, he has more muscles and he's more thug, more hooligan than ego. So uh, uh, this is also a, a, another game about a, a lot of wisdom of the body and body movement and dramatization. And uh, no, in a way, it's not non, uh, non destructive aggressiveness because it only helps us to release some, something that we have and get catharsis catal about it. Here we can see how, how anger can be cathartic. There is, it's just a game. There is nothing here a, a, a direct a personal. Okay. I'm going first to be the interrogator and then we will. Uh, just you will see how it goes. It's a very brilliant game, very easy game. It looks a little bit difficult, but it's a very, very easy game. And when it's done in gibberish, yeah. easier. Afterwards, we can do also in French, in yeah. whatever. You can do. It is a beautiful improvisational game. Who wants to be the suspect? Wants to be beaten. Wants to be beaten. Want to be beaten? Heureusement qu'on a chanté beat tout à l'heure. Okay. You want? Yeah. I did it in Bourgogne with Geneviève. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.